Hey everyone, welcome back. Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 15th day of August 2023, I'm taking you over to moneymetals.com so we can look at the live spot prices and the availability and the premiums for the 23 American Silver Eagles. But before that, huge shout out and a big thank you to each and every single one of our channel members. Really appreciate your support. Thank you all so much. Now, here we are at moneymetals.com. Looks like gold is down 280 in the 1914.90. And still near its all-time high, right? Look at that. It's incredible. But silver down 12 pennies to 22.72. Not near its all-time high. About half of that. Platinum down 840 to 909.65. Could we see below 900? I imagine so. Palladium down 20.50 to 12.9405. You're looking at an in-stock American Silver Eagle whose premium is 10.49. And could we see a lower premium soon? I hope so. Because check this out. These are the bullion sales at the United States Mint. Updated every weekday by 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Ed Blamo. We actually have one, two, three, I guess four updated totals for the bullion sales. And we're one and a half million American Silver Eagles for the month of August. I think that's an incredible, um, incredible uh, addition to what we've already seen. And will that bring down the premiums? I sure hope so. Really do. Now, some big news coming out today. This is uh, marketwatch.com and it's the U.S. economic calendar. This is a really handy tool. It covers just the period that's the actual, there's the median forecast and then the previous, okay? This is kind of a big deal. Now, here we are at August 15th. We got U.S. retail sales out today. Um, look at, remember, previous median forecast. So that's the forecast. Retail sales are ticking up, at least that's their opinion. And then the actual come out today at 8.30 a.m. before the market opens. So we have one, two, three, four, five reports before the market opens today. Look at this. Retail sales minus autos looks like the same. Import price index, it looks like it's going up, not down. At least that's the forecast. Import price index minus fuel. We know, Dude. Have you seen fuel prices, prices spike overnight? Yeah, it's almost 389 here in Central Florida. It's ridiculous. Now, Empire State Manufacturing Survey, look at that previous 1.1, down 1.1. So, yeah, that's um, that's getting better, and this is getting worse. Not good. Business inventories, looks like that one, they're expecting a flat. National Association of Home Builders Confidence Index, previous 56, medium forecast 57. And then I think this is the icing on the cake today. Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari Kari speaks. Yo, and that's at 11 a.m., about an hour and a half after the market opens. So could his words impact the market and precious metals? Absolutely. Now, over here at the United States Mint, whoa. Yeah, so something's going on at the United States Mint, and I'm not sure what it's going to be, but it says planned maintenance. And, uh, well, I guess I'm going to have to wait and see what's what after the site comes back online. Not sure what's going to happen, but it's going to be interesting, and hopefully we have an eye to catch what has changed. They did this last year, and um, you remember uh, the, the bodies, the paragraphs would actually uh, expand lower like a drop-down menu? Yeah. Now, I was able to get to this, actually, and I was able to get to the bullion sales, which was nice, but I just can't get to the product schedule. So this came out August 10th, 2023, and I read this to all y'all, and some of you helped me snap out of it because I was like, hey, where's the San Francisco quarters? Well, turns out this was for the banks. This is, this is, these quarters were dropped yesterday at the bank, all right, from the Federal Reserve. And that's outstanding because, well, some of them are in hand already. Look at this. So we are here at the eBay uh, page looking up Yovitidar. And we just did a quick search, newly listed, $599 for all three coins, $109. Oh, yeah, look at that. There they are, and they're stunning. They really are. I, I'm digging these coins. So there they are. These are not proof, folks. These are these are Philadelphia and Denver strikes, all right? It's incredible. They're beautiful, stunning coins. And somebody's already got them in their hot little hands. So let's keep on back to the United States Mint website. Yeah, firm. There we are. We're going to go to August 15th. Now, this just came out the 10th, four or five days ago now. But this is what it's all about, folks, in my opinion. I really dig this quarter. I think this is the most fantastic quarter we've seen in American history. That's my opinion. I'm welcome to it, and you're welcome to yours. It says the United States Mint. That's the uh, Mint. The 2023 American Women Quarter Rolls and Bags Honoring Yavit Didar will be available for purchase on August 15th today at noon. Uh, regrettably, I'm not going to be doing a live drop of this. The Yovi Didar Quarter is the ninth coin in the American Women Quarters program, a four-year series that celebrates the accomplishments and contributions made by American women who have shaped our nation's history and helped pave the way for generations that followed. Absolutely, why not, right? Now, it says here the price at $45, the bag of 100 circulating quality quarters. 
Mm, see, that's the bummer in the summer. They're not uncirculated quality. They did change this last year. And um, yeah, I think the first year of the American Woman Quarters was the only one so far that's outside the U.S. Mint uncirculated set that was actually uncirculated. All right. So those um, those priced uh, at a 45 for the 100 circulating quality there for Philly and Denver. Then you've got priced at $40, the two roll set, and then priced at $60, the three roll set. And I believe that one is only allowed to have three total um, product uh, in hand for, you know, the sales today and then the uh, product subscriptions. Okay, so there you go. You can probably get a total of six. Now, it says here orders for the 100 coin bags are limited to 10 per household, while orders for the two roll and three roll sets are limited to three per household. And that does, I really believe you can get six uh, total, three on subscription and three the sales day. I don't mean to repeat myself. I uh, apologize to you there. Don't don't need to waste your time. It says sign up to re receive remind me alerts by visiting the official product listing page. The American Women Quarter rolls and bags are also available for purchase through the Mint subscription program. And I think that's really, if you're if you can, folks, that's the way to go. Is the subscription program? It really has um, changed the game for a lot of us who buy Mint products and you know who who are like, oh my gosh, the website is crashing, bad gateway errors this, that, or the other, this takes out all of the, uh, I guess, stress. You can just kick back, relax. You don't have to worry about smelling the flower and blowing out the candle. So let's go back over to eBay. I wanted to show you something really cool. Now, here we are, 164 results for newly listed Yobiti Dark Quarter. Um, I did show you these, the circulating quality ones. Looks like that person uh, either, I think they got them at the bank, but but how will they get P and D? I don't even know. That's incredible. So kudos to that seller for sure. Now, look at this. I did show you the Proof in a 69 Deep Cameo and the Proof 70 Deep Cameo, but they're few and far between for the OVD dot quarter. And if you can pick these up in a Proof 70, I think that's fantastic. Um, but if you can't, that's okay, too. So here we're going to keep on keeping on. There are some really interesting things that I need to share with you here. I'm going to hopefully find it. There she is. Bam. That's PCGS President Stephanie Sabin. And this is a Proof 69 Deep Cameo. Well, let me show you the population of the Stephanie Sabin Proof. That's the clad proof. Look, there's a total of six in the whole wide world. Three of them are in 70, and three of them are in a Proof 69. And there's one out of the three that are in a Proof 69. That's incredible. And to get a coin that, I mean, I, is that her signature? Is it a facsimile? I'm not sure. I don't know. I would imagine it's her, her signature, Okay. But to get it for that low, low price, I mean, that's just phenomenal, all right? And I don't think there's any other slab coins that are available for Miss Sabin. However, there's a really cool Rosie the Riveter design that I thought was stunning. So look at this, look at this, look at this. I don't even know what they're thinking, but this is the Mint State 66 for the Philly strike, okay? I, what? Yeah, for 15 bucks? Come on. What is up with that? Just one grade higher, you're looking at what, $60 as opposed to $15. Then you have the first day of issue. This is the San Francisco strike for $29.95. And isn't it interesting that the Denver has a better strike than the, uh, well, the San, just San Francisco. I thought that was Denver, my bad. So San Francisco at a 67 is 60, and a 66 pickup sticks is at 30. So you can get all three, PD and the S, and a Mid-State 66 for 49 Oh, there it is. That's probably one of my favorites, actually, is the OBD daughter with the Rosie the Riveter. Love that design. That's stellar. That's stunning. That's fantastic. And, um, yeah, really good stuff. Now, we're not seeing too many. Um, uh, we're, these basically clad proofs. There's hardly any silver proofs on here. Isn't that incredible? $21.95 for $69. $24.95 for $69. So what we're seeing here, folks, is condition rarity. And that's basically what I'm speaking to here when we're talking about the most fantastic quarter ever. And our friend Mickey Minsky believes that is a two-headed quarter. I mean, if you could imagine being a cashier or wherever and you're taking this particular quarter, you're going to see Washington on one side, but you're going to see OVD on the other side. And what what's happening? So hopefully there won't be confusion like there was confusion for the Susan B. Anthony uh, dollar as people back in the day, myself included, couldn't stand getting those at the video game arcade because, you know, you'd try and jam that into the quarter slot and it would not work. You'd figure that out pretty quick. I think the um, the thing that I used to recognize in the Susan B. Anthony's was the edge and the rim of the coin, um, you know, with the with the. Uh, Oh, the lines are quite close date. You know, the close date next to the edge. Yeah, that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
man, oh man, that was very confusing. So hopefully uh, this isn't going to be as confusing. And the Stephanie Sabin on the silver, okay, there's only three total there as well. And all of those are actually in a 70. Incredible stuff, isn't it? But let's go back to the clad proof, okay? This is where the story is really told. Look at this. Out of 24 submissions, 11 of them were in a 70 and 12 were in a 69. That's half, folks. That's just incredible. And then one of them was in a 68. What? Yeah, that's something. But look at this. Even the first strikes, look at that. Over half. I mean, if it wasn't, it would be like 162, right? Look at that. Over half are in a 69. That's something. But look at this. Out of those 64, only five. Out of this six, only three. Well, that's a Stephanie one. Um, and then that's Tall Chief. So really, I think we're going to see some really, really low grades for this particular quarter, only because of all the negative space on there. Now let's head over to those plus ones. And good luck, folks. I hope you find um, the uh, Yobi Didar in the highest grade possible. We haven't seen a 68 yet. Um, well, my bad. We haven't seen any of the uh, mid-states yet. But I would imagine if if you do get a 68 mint state, your weekly daughter, either San Francisco, or not San Francisco, uh, Philly, you're probably going to be living the high life in that particular grade. Uh, top pop, that's what I'm saying. Now over here to the plus ones. This is Psalm 32.6. It says, therefore, let everyone who is godly offer prayer to you at a time when you may be found. Surely in the rush of great waters, they shall not reach him. Now it says here, the faithful ones pray at the first hit of misfortune so that a flood of suffering not overtake them. Absolutely. And folks, we're getting to a month called Elul, and uh, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, well, you better look it up because this is the time when you can get really close and uh, somebody can be found. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go to the, uh, well, here we are. This is 99.9. .9. I don't know what happened to the photograph, the picture up here, but that's all right. This is Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band Turn the Page. And it's a really cool video. It's lots of fun. It's in HD. It's got closed caption and all that good stuff. So listen, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're saying, please sub the channel. It's free. And, well, if you'd like to become a member, all members get free shipping at the auctions, and they get to suggest songs at the end of the video, and they get access to you-know-who, that guy. Anyway, thanks, folks. Appreciate all you coming out, and um, hopefully you score a top pop quarter today. Stack her out.